हेलो नमस्कार सत श्रीकाल आदाब आप सबका स्वागत है इस नए नए चमचमाते पॉडकास्ट के ऊपर जिसका नाम है एग्जैक्टली exactly ऑपोजिट और मेरे साथ है आज आ, मैं फर्स्ट टाइम इससे बात कर रहा हूँ लाइक ही इज़ अ फ्रेंड ऑफ अ फ्रेंड जो हमारी पिंटू जी दीदी अनुष्का पिंटो uh, उनके बहुत अच्छे दोस्त हैं वो इनका नाम है आदित्य सुहाग ही इज़ गोइंग टू बी अ न्यू गेस्ट ही इज़ गोइंग टू बी अ न्यू पर्सन दैट आई एम गोइंग टू मीट थ्रू दिस कॉन्वर्जेशन so uh, let's see how this progresses into a much more interesting uh, piece of content that i'm going to create to so, aditya kaisa lag raha hai tujhe yahan par aake oh bahut hi acha lag raha hai and i'm really excited and to just have some fun time ya to like uh, how is your uh, routine now aditya like uh, tera routine kaise chal raha hai और जब से स्कूल शुरू हुआ है तो आई मस्ट से द परफेक्ट वर्ड फॉर माय रूटीन विल बी फ्रस्ट्रेंजेंट हो गया है थोड़ा फन एक्टिविटीज को या कट डाउन करना पड़ा है आउटडोर एंड ऑल बट या इट्स गोइंग गुड लाइक इज इट कंपोज्ड एंड लाइक क्या बोलते कंप्लीटेड और इट हैज इट्स ओन लाइक ड्रॉबैक्स और आई वुडंट से एग्जैक्टली ड्रॉबैक्स बट या इट इजंट रियली कंप्लीट एंड आई एम वर्किंग ऑन थिंग्स लाइक जैसे अभी जब तक स्कूल नहीं शुरू हुआ था तो आई वुड मोर ऑफन गो आउट फॉर प्लेइंग साइकिलिंग और अदर आउटडोर एक्टिविटीज वो थोड़ा सा आई गेस स्कूल शुरू होने के बाद मुझे कट डाउन करना पड़ा है बट आई थिंक विद एज एन वेन द टाइम इज पासिंग आई एम ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट थिंग्स सो हाउ एवरी थिंग कैन बी मैनेज सो या द प्रोग्रेस इज ऑन सो वॉट आर द थिंग्स दैट आर यू करेंटली लाइक मैनिफेस्टिंग फॉर लाइक वॉट आर द थिंग्स दैट यू नीड इन लाइफ यू फील करेंटली Oh, as of now, I think only the most important thing I feel is first of all, like I wouldn't say my studies. <laughs> yeah, that is important. But I think one thing which I always start for is having fun. Like be it school, be it play, or be it any activity I am doing, I think I start for fun and for taking interest in whatever I am doing. So like uh. would you like to just like uh, introduce yourself to the audience yeah sure so namaskar darshako myself aditya as he told you earlier he is introduced to uh, i am introduced to radesh by anushka pinto and well my interests as they seem are reading going for long cycling rides having conversations with friends and partying what are your uh, staples when it comes to like uh, having conversation with friends like what are the topics that you usually have a conversation about i think like we don't really have some fixed things actually it's the things going on in our life like it really depends on the day to day things like we are going through if something unusual really happened or something exciting or whatsoever we just try and share with you like anything specific that has been like uh, coming re- uh, repetitively in your conversation lately uh i think lately the thing which has been constant about all of us is the starting of our schools after two years all of us had been at homes due to the pandemic and so i think that's been the most often thing which we used to talk about like going to school after so much time and trying to mend our routines according to that so like uh, apart from uh, like the school life what are the uh, interests that uh, you uh, pursue in your life oh as i told you like i like a lot of reading and i love public speaking and i love all the outdoor games actually i'm not a fan of online gaming or so no offense but so like uh, what are you reading now like what are all right now things that you uh, have read presently on day before yesterday i finished with rich dad poor dad and before that i was reading the alchemist well in the last two months after the declaration uh, like after the examinations of the 10th board uh, completed i have nearly done five to six books in the last two months like have they been interconnected and like uh... and like intertwined in their topics or like have you no i think them, like, they were uh, not intertwined multi polar uh, like themes in your reading style yeah 
like they were not really connected i just read a diverse plethora of books in the last uh, two months so like um, are there any uh, specific books that you like to recommend the audience about yeah sure the book first book like which i would like to recommend the audience is this is not your story by savi sharma i think it's just a deep novel which just connects to the heart of everyone who reads it and secondly i would recommend my journey by dr ap jabdul kalam what are the people that uh, influence your life a lot and what are the personals that have had like a impacting uh, a big impact in your life okay so see first of all like i don't have a very huge list i have a i'm a bit choosy in that i think the first of them are my parents i'm really like motivated for things or like they really make me as a person that i am today and for a great personality i would say it is dr ap j abdul kalam who always inspires me to aspire for more uh, reading to uh, something that's a bit more uh, off the topic like uh, something that's actually like having what do you call like uh, no connection directly but like on this podcast we have different themes that we talk about and one of the themes is like uh, have you uh, observed the fashion trends uh, recently oh like to be really honest recently i've been off these things but yeah i've been a bit about them but i'm not really sure on the recent trends i'll just like to like uh, know your perspective and like what are the things that you picked up uh, out of like the ocean of things that are there uh, in the fashion industry in the fashion industry well i think the athleisure other thing which like ca- uh, catch my attention on the first go and i think they've been on the boost in the industry in the past one year and people all over the world have really liked at least a wear in their day to day life are there any uh, brands or designers that you uh, like prominently follow oh the brands i particularly follow are louis vuitton then uh, zara and there are many more and as for designers there aren't really many which i particularly follow but i think one of them is coco chanel so like uh, i have myself seen like the fashion trends coming like we have a lot of retro things that are uh, being introduced once again in like the fashion uh, let it be like the style of like jean jackets then uh, let it be like the uh, styles of like uh, dark uh, like big coat long coats let it be like those funky looking glasses from like 90s let it be like even for like uh, hair styles i have noticed like people have started getting back into uh, getting like long hair getting into like mullets and things like yeah exactly like i think the uh, last some uh, in the last some time the retro fashion has been on a boom people have been immensely interested in making it a combination with a like it's been a hybrid i think it's been a sort of a hybrid model with proper blend of the retro and the modern looks and i think it has got quite potential for the near future too retro styling has come back like in every industry i'm say like fashion let it be like even for iphones like uh, the original iphone uh, design language that we had for like yeah, uh, iphone 4s and uh, yeah still iphone 4 only like the design language of iphone 4 like uh curvy like kind of uh what do you call like it's a bit more heavy and uh it's a bit more a uh, cuboidal in its uh, approach and like from iphone 6 till like iphone uh, i don't like 10 11 we got into a much more like a uh, slim sized iphones uh, yeah so i think like not really till iphone 11 i suppose it was more before that we had the newcomers in the designs and all of the iPhones and i think yeah uh, apple is a company which has been always experimenting with new ideas and you know, and i suppose the blend which they have bought with the retro 
styles of the iPhones being more bulkier and the solid one. So I think the people are liking them more. And as they say, old is gold. I am myself using currently, like I am uh, myself, I'm like, I have been using an iPhone 4 for like about a month, something like it's old. It's a 3G phone, like not apps can run, like actually WhatsApp, Instagram, Snapchat, Spotify, like nothing actually runs on like the phone. I have to use like uh, the desktop for using those apps. But like just the feel of uh, using like uh, actually like uh, what you call like a robust than I don't know, like I have used new iPhones like 7, then 12, 13 also. But like uh, iPhone 4 has like a nice charming factor about it. Even like after, uh, even after like it being around 14 years old now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You rightly said that charm always comes with that. And you know, whenever you see a person like in the crowd of many now, if one has got a 13 Pro Max and the other one has an XR, I suppose the charm factor remains with the XR. See, like when you hold those old ones, you just feel that robustness of those old iPhones and you just feel, yeah, these are the OG ones and it gives you a different level of feel. So like yourself, you are a Android user or an iOS user? Oh, till date, I'm a Android user, but soon enough, I'm like, uh, have you had any experience of using uh, I, an iOS device? Oh, no, for quite long, I haven't had the experience of using it, but yeah, I'm a fan of it and aspiring to be a collector also. What are your thoughts about Steve Jobs? Oh, well, he, I really don't have initial words for him. I think the perfect word for him will be a genius innovator. I think he's given the world my favorite thing. That's an iPhone. And I think more than just a genius innovator, I think he's an artist in my view. So like, uh, what are the uh, models of iPhone that you like the most in like all of them? Like, uh, just uh, not, uh, let's not uh, have like a boundary on just iPhones. Let's say like any Apple device till date, like oh. uh, which are your favorites? I think the most favorite of them was, I suppose, the iPads and the MacBooks. I'll say MacBook. The MacBook has been my favorite. So, like, for the uh, vlogging and um, what do you call it, like, making content, uh, what are the tools that you need? What are the uh, tools that you yourself use? I think, uh, for as of now, I haven't been really a long-time vlogger. I just started it a year ago when I was on a family trip. Uh, just after the second lockdown, I think, reopened. So as of now, I'm just using a tripod and my phone. So I think that's my basic units as of now. But uh, like I always look forward to upgrade. And I think for me, a Sony VXR will always be a dream for a vlogging setup. So from like uh, going from uh, iPhones to like uh, food, as I have uh, researched uh, a little bit about you, you are a proper foodie or like you just appreciate food in general? Like, I think I'm on the boundary of food. I, yeah, the verge. It's, more, it's more than appreciation and I think it's less than food. Like uh, what are your favorite dishes to uh, like have? I'm talking about like uh, any delicacy. like. Uh, it may be like Indian, it may be continental, it may be like a foreign dish, it may be like some... The most favorite part of my cuisine, I suppose, is street food in India. In food, like uh, street food, uh, what exactly do you enjoy? Oh, I think I enjoy the Pau Bhaji of Mumbai. And then like everything, I enjoy everything from Pani Puri to Shea Puri and Dabelis and what not. Like your and native would, place, uh, what's your like uh, uh, native place? It's Delhi. So like uh, being like a Delhiite, like I don't know, like have you lived in Delhi? Uh, not really, I haven't, but I know the all the food delicacies of that place and all the famous places and all. 
Have you eaten uh, litti chokha? Yeah, of course. How was the experience like? And where did you have it? it was, like? Actually, I was on a trip, and I I had it in uh, Maharashtra itself. But I think it was a really great experience, and it was really good. I hadn't expected it to be that one, to be most uh, honest. But it turned out to be really great, and I enjoyed it. And just to add, I ordered one more. Okay, so from my research about you, I've come to know that you're more on, you're interested in future discussions. So, like the first question which comes to my mind is like, what do you think when the word future comes in your mind? What are your aspirations for them? So, like uh, thinking about future. i uh, relate the concept of future with uh, a much more innovated world a much more connected world uh, and like uh, geopolitically the world has been a more stable place than uh, like what we are having presently like the world is turning multipolar and like the boundaries are just there for the sake like it's not actually like uh, having a boundary on a human Uh, on humanity like humanity will not have any boundaries and like a uh, future uh, with like technology getting even more better assisting humans in creating uh, much more different concepts much more unheard concepts and assisting in like concepts from like a uh, day to day life to the concepts like uh, quantum physics to like the concepts of like technology in it like a uh, then technology like computers mobile devices it's like what do you call it? like subjective uh, statement when it comes to uh, explaining future for me oh uh, well like that point which you said like humanity has no boundaries i think i love that point and i would like to mark it on like it was something really descriptive when humanity it was really short but it does touch the core point when humanity has no boundaries so well coming to the next question i think i would like to shift the topic a bit more so like just imagine if you were to drive a single car all your life which one would be your pick it will be a more all rounder uh, thing like something that has considerable amount of power has considerable amount of uh, comfort it has considerable amount of i don't know like efficiency affordability something that uh, checks uh, a lot of points for me like i'm actually a lot uh, choosy and more research oriented when it comes to uh, investing in something uh, like can it can be like books it can be just like monetarily financially investing in something it can be relationships like re- investing in relationships with humans i'm a much more like a uh, क्या बोलते हैं लाइक अ मोर थिंकर दैन जस्ट गोइंग लाइक आउट राइट एंड क्या बोलते हैं डूइंग द वर्क वाइज एक्शन नॉट अ वाइज बट लाइक जस्ट थिंकर ओके सो लाइक टू बी मोर स्पेसिफिक इफ यू चूज वन फ्रॉम द प्रेजेंट इंडियन डे मार्केट व्हिच वन वुड इट बी It's not a latest car, but like uh, I like to drive a 2016 Ortega CNG VXI. That's a great choice, and it's been a great uh, car as well. It has well stood the test of time. Yeah, like uh, the car is extremely great to work on. It has considerable amount of power. It is, okay, uh, the fit for the family. It is fit for like uh, the uh, driving dynamics are extremely well. and then like uh, just the uh, overall packaging of the whole uh, vehicle it's much more uh, diverse and it uh, and it has like its uses in anything like anything that you can uh, imagine but like something that's uh, physically possible i'm not talking like the imaginations to go crazy like you cannot take the ertica to the space like i'm yeah that's... with that to be on a more the... realistic pace yeah so i would like to have your thoughts on the aviation industry especially the trends in the current aviation industry in the present day the aviation industry is uh, much more uh, complex 
like actually everything is much more complex if you have the right set of uh, information from different perspectives i'm not talking just take the right set of information from like one perspective i'm talking like we take perspectives from every uh, imaginable source that we have it can be like a pilot it can be the person responsible for maintaining the aircraft it can be like the board members it can be like some uh, official who is responsible for uh, like decentralization of the whole uh, management process like i'm talking about uh, sources from various uh, uh, perspective various backgrounds various uh, working designations so like aviation industry in general it has uh, showed a trend ki after the pandemic people have grown uh, bored of their uh, usual surroundings like their house their neighborhood so they are investing more into travel they are investing more into um, getting to know new places getting to know uh, new cultures new people as they travel and like the aviation industry is kind of going in uh, like a sync uh, with the whole trend and uh, like uh, the aviation industry in general it's actually having um, a recession kind of things for the uh, employers and the employees themselves because like uh, during the pandemic a lot of jobs were cut down in every field for that matter not just aviation so like uh, the uh, pilots who were much more uh, much more all rounder in their uh, whole uh, observations and uh, in their set of skills those were the ones who actually survived the whole feat and uh, the aircrafts to have been uh, reduced to more compact aircrafts and uh, something that's much more uh, varied in its uh, purposes like the aircrafts uh, that the companies have been hiring are a much more efficient they are uh, hiring for much more efficient aircrafts much more efficient pilots they are uh, uh, getting uh, much more things done for like they are getting the most bang for buck like uh, if i have to uh, put it in one statement well that was quite subjective and it just felt like i'm hearing it from an expert of the field and i think yeah you exactly said that in today's age information is the most important thing and the guy who has the correct and the precise set of skills and information is the one to survive in today's era so yeah that's all from from my side the questions to you so uh, i like to ask you about uh, like you told me that you are a uh, having a much more like a uh, broader and more invested uh, conversations with your friends so like uh, you have i don't know if you have like a big or a small set of uh, friend group but like i like to ask you like uh, why do you feel a person first of all needs friends needs to socialize and uh, how like uh, the friends that uh, a person has affects their life and like the third and final question for this podcast uh, that is going to be uh, like how a person has fun with his friends okay so it's a long one so i'll just elaborate it i think one of the principles and the things which i have realized in this journey is that friends are one of the most i would say the most important set of people in a person's life and i think it's really subjective to up to people and no friends to introverts who don't like to have a big group of friends actually even i don't have but i think you should always focus on the quality of friends that you choose because i think all the relations in this world from the point we are born to the point we are dead i think friends are the only people we choose on in our life they are just in our head that who do we really want to choose as our friend so that's really subjective and up to us how we make friends and as you asked how we can have fun friends i think whatever we do with our friends is fun according to me like from having small gup sub sessions 
going to places roaming around even fighting i think it's all got a fun in itself and for me i think friends are the biggest stress buster for a person see i experienced it myself personally when i'm stressed or at times upset and when you talk to your friends or have some fun and even if you have small fights with them you just get around them and the things come out and you feel much more relaxed so i think fr- having friends is really important in a person's life because i think they are the most memorable people we always cherish in our life like in the long run when you see when we are maybe 60 70 do like the school days and roaming around with our friends and having fun i think these are the days a person will always remember he may forget anything or everything but these are the things one never forgets about and are the most memorable and cherishable moments in a person's life so i think having friends and enjoying and being in the present with whoever with you are is the most important and the key thing i'll just like like to uh, add to your point कि लाइक अ फ्रेंड कैन बी अ वैल्यूएबल एसेट टू अ पर्सनस लाइफ एंड लाइक द आउटलुक दैट आई हैव टूवर्ड्स लाइफ लाइक दैट आई बिलीव हैज लाइक मच मोर इम्पॉर्टेंस फॉर मी एट लीस्ट इसकी लाइक लाइफ लाइक देर आर ओनली टू थिंग्स दैट आर अनसर्टन अबाउट लाइक कम्प्लीटली अनसर्टन इन अ पर्सनस लाइफ दैट इज द बर्थ एंड द डेथ एंड लाइक जो भी बीच में आता है दैट्स लाइक अ बोनस गिवन बाय गॉड लाइक the god just told us to exist or like jo bhi hota gaya like let it be our education let it be the uh, pleasures that we got in life like pleasures can be the friends the money the fame the respect we had or like anything that we have that's just like a bonus given to us like it's like we have to uh, uh, be born a day we have to die one day uske beech mein jo bhi hai wo kya bolte hai extra bhagwan ne extra aise hi malai dal di Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I meant. Ki just live in the present, or us malai ko chhodna mat. Puri kha jao ya. Uska achhe se anand uthao. Uska bahut achha lab uthao. Or exactly. Mere uh, mere doston ke saath jo ye conversations hai. That's one of the things ki uh, that's uh, helping me in kya bolte tasting that uh, nice nice malai that I have uh, received uh, from the great great universe. so uh like we have like a lot of topics that we want to talk about and like this is just a stepping stone in our a uh, small uh, initiative about spreading uh, our information and uh, just having a nice time doing it so like uh, thanks a lot uh, first of all aditya i had a very nice time uh the day that i had today it was a uh, much more like packed day uh, i had to like i didn't have a lot of breaks but like this conversation was one of those like uh, stop uh, it was one of those stopping uh things for me like it gave me a nice relaxing uh, time i listened a lot of wise words um i appreciate uh, the uh, conduct that you have over your language and uh, the ability that you have for explaining big big topics in a um, nice understandable concise way so like uh, aditya i'll uh, like to ask you to give a nice ending note to this conversation so well it was a wonderful time with ridesh and i think to be honest enough i was a bit nervous before this podcast that we had rescheduled it a couple of times and finally it took place and i'm not really sure i've done great but i just tried but yaar tareef zyada kar di but i think it was just enjoyable and maza aa gaya thanks a lot so that's it we got for this episode guys agar aapko ye conversation achhi lagi hai to episode ko like karo agar aap youtube pe dekh rahe ho to hamare channel ko subscribe zarur karo हमारे इस एपिसोड को शेयर करना मत भूलना अगर आप किसी पॉडकास्ट होस्टिंग ऐप पे से सुन रहे हो जैसे कि स्पॉटिफाई या फिर एप्पल पॉडकास्ट या फिर गूगल पॉडकास्ट हमारे पॉडकास्ट को फॉलो कीजिए एक अच्छी रेटिंग दीजिए एपिसोड्स को शेयर कीजिए अपनी फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली के साथ हमारी रीच बढ़ाइए 
मेरे सारे सोशल्स आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन में मिल जाएंगे आदित्य के सारे सोशल्स मैं आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन में दे दूंगा हमें डीएम कीजिए हमें सजेशंस दीजिए अपना एक्सपीरियंस कमेंट करके बताइए और लाइक जस्ट लिव अ हैप्पी लाइफ वो जो भगवान ने दी मलाई है उसके उसका बहुत अच्छे से ताव उठाओ उसका उसका आनंद अच्छे से लो आई हैड अ वेरी नाइस टाइम थैंक्स अ लॉट आदित्य बाय बाय थैंक यू सो मच बाय Thank you.